Hey guys, I wanted to share my morning routine getting ready for a typical day at the office and how I make flawless daily sunscreen work with my skincare routine. Now, today I'm not planning on any extra outdoors activities like working out during the day. So I'm gonna put my makeup on after my SPF and that's me done for the day. Now, already I've prepped my skin with flawless cleanser and moisturizer and the moisturizer has fully absorbed so there's no slip and it's gonna layer well with my sunscreen. So, how do you make sure you get the right amount? This is the million dollar question when it comes to daily SPF use and I believe in doing it right because I only plan on doing it once. Now, I've made life easy for you by setting up a meter dose system, which means that I know that three pumps of this delivers a quarter of a teaspoon amount, which is 1.25 mLs. That is the right amount for my face to deliver the number on the pack, which is SPF 50 broad spectrum, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing for my neck. Now, the biggest mistake people make is to chronically under apply sunscreen. And if you put a quarter on, which is very common, you will literally get a quarter of the number. So that means SPF 12. So not as well protected as you think. So let's get started. I'm gonna do three pumps for my face. It seems like a lot, but I think if you see, when you put the 13 dot technique into play, you guys know what I'm talking about. It makes it so much easier to get this amount to work in your daily routine. So, I'm gonna do one, two, three, and then the final two dots there. And then what I do is I just distribute the rest over my hands, and then I glide. So I don't rub, because that leads to pilling. I glide. And as it absorbs, the appearance changes. So right now, it looks white, right? That's the zinc oxide in there which in itself is reassuring. And I think it also helps you avoid missing bits because one of the biggest problems with sunscreen is that people skip bits out. So if you can see it at the beginning, it means you're not gonna do that. Now work it right up to the hairline. This is where girls always seem to miss bits. I think that's because we're scared of getting sunscreen in our hair, which, you know, I understand. So I'm gonna work it around my eyelids you shouldn't miss any bits out, as I said, skin is skin. Now, I'm also going to do the same quantity on my neck. Just give me a second, guys. I just want you to see how I glide this over my skin without rubbing. And then I'm going to let it absorb in. And any areas where a little bit has accumulated, so say the temples, which I find is one of those areas where I tend to let product build up, I'm just going to work it in a little bit more. So you can see it's already starting to change and dry down and lose the whiteness that you first saw when I put it on my skin. Now I'm going to do the same thing again with my neck. And with my neck I do a nine dot technique. I just decided that today. No need for 13 dots, guys. So always take your jewelry off when you're doing your SPF on your neck, all right? And that way you're not tempted again to under apply. So I tend to always wear my hair down and certainly if I was doing a beach day application, I would make sure to get my ears, but my ears are not really on show in the average day, okay? Now, just to make a distinction, guys, this is everyday sunscreen application. This is not a beach situation where I'm not going to wear makeup and I am going to diligently reapply sunscreen every two hours, more often if I'm sweating or swimming. And I'll obviously be wearing a hat, sunglasses and seeking shade as well. This is everyday behavior. And this is the kind of behavior which I think is so important from an anti-aging point of view. Recent studies have been very enlightening in telling us that not only does sunscreen stop damage of the future, it also frees up the skin's resources because it's not fighting off UV and the free radical formation you get from that exposure. It's protected, allowing it to do the clever stuff, which is repair. So wrinkles improve, texture improves, 
and pigmentation improves. I think that's kind of amazing. So when a 20 something tells me she's using eye cream and not sunscreen, I literally wanna tear my hair out and cry because it's the wrong priority, okay? This is the first thing you do when you decide to upgrade from just cleanser and moisturizer, okay? So I'm gonna give that another couple of minutes to dry down fully and then we'll do some makeup. So here we are, touch dry, dewy, soft focus finish, and I'm ready to put makeup on. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender, and I do that because I like to push product onto my skin rather than rubbing or brushes where there's drag, and I might dislodge what's underneath. Obviously, the super important part here at this stage is to make sure the layers are completely dry so that whenever you put the next layer on, everything stays put. So, here we go. Now, the great thing about the finish of this SPF is that it's non-clogging, it's fragrance-free, so it's not gonna upset my pernickety, delicate Irish skin. So light makeup is finished. I'm pretty happy with that. No chalkiness, no greasiness. I'm ready to start my day.